folding back in defence from her wing. White will kick high and launch and hope for Frederick, who was left vacant. Sabrina Frederick. Leads the league for headouts this season. Can she be a dominant force forward today? Absolutely. Tricky ball to try and gather there for Kennedy. Frederick chopped it off, having an enormous influence early. Polish into the hands of Morris Dalton. And this is the stuff of dreams right now for Steve Simons. Morris Dalton. The pies have gone kapow. Yeah, the Swans have definitely had the momentum in the last couple of minutes playing the breeze. The pressure's working. Newman, who was the late in to Ham, funnels. Privatelli's got a channel to goal. The Swans have got their first. Finds Newman, who dabs it to Privatelli, who again wants to hand it off. Found a bubble of space. That's magnificent ball movement to find Ham. 26 kicks, 26 marks. Too much. Montana Ham. Number one draft pick of a couple of years ago. Stress reaction in the preseason. Back the last three. Kicked a major last week against the Dogs. We're tied at 13. It's been a splendid game thus far. Get Malloy out of the way. She's got options as well. Decides to have a bounce. Get via Casey. Pop it for Hamilton. Rose got a couple to beat. Hamilton gave her a nudge in the back. Shares with her teammate in Newman who kicks a Bill T. Davey crosses 50. It was a bit of a kick both ways. The bounce favoured Morris. She just needs boot to ball. She might have got a high one. That's the case. She's going to try and stretch and be an option here. Hamilton gave it off to Sergeant Wilson Privatelli. Could she be a presence here? Malloy always is. Grabs, snaps. Simple brilliance from Chloe Malloy. And that wind has intensified, as you can see it again. Dropped vertical once it loses its momentum. Hurley went off the ground. Malloy clean as a whistle to wheel and into the pocket. Privatelli. Beck Privatelli's task here will be to kick this left and let the breeze work it to the right and basically shape it back to the goal face for her second of the day. Got it. Whelan to McAvoy, who was the second receiver. Malloy! Oh, my goodness. Chloe Malloy just sneaks it in. Privatelli, there's a few loose swans back. They're folding back towards the goal square, but yet to find a body. Campbell's the loose here for the Pies at ground level. Mitchell went upstairs. Campbell stayed down and gets it. Who could get the trip with the wind. We'll get it to the teeth of the square for Frederick. Livingston couldn't get there. It came off the shins of Brazali. Hurley poked it forward. Casey took on the Hurley tackle. And big play on both sides. Casey, who is tungsten tough. Sydney's four walls. Highest pressure act numbers amongst their side. And also second only to Laura Gardner for GPS. So Sophia Hurley, her third of the season. The ideal start to a massive final quarter for the Swans. to find Lachlan, bounce, gives it back. Swans with two in the last. Both to Hurley. For the first time this season, Whelan after it, Malloy. And it's gonna mark her spot. She's also could have had a few more, but uh, I guess as captain has passed them off to her teammates in Beck Rivatelli, Red and white delight for Chloe Malloy. Allen 
whose influence has been dulled. Livingston with a party trick late. But pretty quickly, these Swans have gone from zeros to Harbour City heroes. Sydney five wins for the season and finals in their midst, perhaps. They win by 19 points at Henson Park.